Oh my God. Oh. Holy cow. How would you know where anything is down here? Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be in a situation like this. I don't know where to look down here. So I'll wait till I get somebody to help. Yeah, I'll wait. I had Googled what to look for with decomposed bodies and odor. I was preparing myself for the worst. Oh. It started back in November. My mom has two cousins. Sally and Lorraine. We would meet Sally at church festivals all through the summer and talk regularly and she was always clean. She got her hair cut and done every week. She worked for an insurance company in Troy till she retired. And then when I called to say happy Thanksgiving to them, I couldn't reach them and I tried all weekend. I contacted the Detroit police to do a wellness check and they said nobody was answering the door and the dog wasn't barking. So I told the police I was going to break in and the police told me to wear a hazmat suit. When I walked in, I, I went, oh! I thought I found her, but then I'm like, what the f are they doing with the Halloween cast decoration? Because I thought it was a skeleton with a wig. Because it was poofy in the torso and then there were bones. So I kept looking. The police came and they said, Linda, she's right there. And I turned around and said, what the f It was her right there in that chair, dead. Then they said the dog had been eaten on her. Uh, part of her face was gone. Uh, and I think I was in shock because I could not believe that this was Sally, my mom's cousin, this was her. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to, look at this. Look, it's all eaten up by the rats. God, to live like this is just beyond belief. And I've read up on it, I've watched that hoarder show. Nothing can explain living like this. I know it's an illness, but if you met them on the street, you'd never, ever know. If you looked at the outside of this house, you'd never know that this nightmare was in here. The only reason I'm doing this is their family. And my mom would want this done. But it's disgusting. Oh, crap. People should be aware of what can happen with hoarders. You shouldn't do this to your family. And yeah, I don't have to go through it. Oh, God. But the first day that I did, I found so many things that, that pertain to my family history, and that's why I'm back. And then the change that I found will help for the cremation, because I don't know, I, did, I know nothing. I don't know if there's insurance, I don't know anything. Am I emotional? Yeah, but I'm more pissed because three years ago, I said, Sally, I know you don't have a will, but you need to do something so that somebody other than you and your sister know what you want and where things are and how to access them. And I said, because God forbid I'm the one that has to break in and find dead bodies. And I said that, and it happened. I know I'll get through this. Right now, it's all in front of me. And I can't weed my way through.